Hi and welcome to the Christmas special here on Vanilla FM and in this week we are going to go away from Football Manager for a little bit and explore some different games that I've played in the past. Um, to be fair, I have not played the games that I'm going to play this week, I have not played in years. So it's going to take me a while to figure it out. As you can see, I've had a bit of a play with just kind of re refreshing my memory a little bit. Um, about how this the game works, but it's still going to be a lot of hiccups. So I'm going to try to essentially play for half an hour, but it, we might encounter a lot of hiccups. So I'm going to start uh, at the beginning of time with Europe, with Portugal, because I kind of understand the history of Portugal a little bit. And we are going to jump in and try to play, see what we can do in half an hour of gameplay. Now, this game, Europa Universalis 4, is quite an intricate intricate game, and um, it's very complex. I still ha don't remember half of the uh, controls or anything like that, so forgive me. I will take me a while to figure out how to do things, but yeah. So I think, at the moment, we can't declare war with anyone, we can't really do much, so we need to focus on production. Uh, so we, here we can pick some advisors. Uh, we're gonna play national unrest. Uh, let's see. We need cheap advisors as well. First of all, um, let me see, how can I raise production in these places? Mm -mm. At the moment, so if we go to our finances, where's money? We get 10% from taxation, 20% from production, 27%, uh, oh wait, that's not the percentage that I thought it was, from trade. So how do we make trade? I'm trying to understand how this works by seeing how much money we can we can make. English Channel, we've got we got quite a good ties with the English, and so maybe if we're sending a trader there. We can make some money. Oh, we only have two traders? Do we, how do we get more traders? Yeah, I've forgotten how trade works. Um, a little bit. I don't have any ideas, do I? Yeah, I don't have any ideas yet. Um, oops. Missions. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know that these were a thing. Okay. 
looks like I can't make any of these, so... This paint does not exist, Mystery Technology 10. Okay. So these are some points that we can get. Okay. I would like to somehow improve um, I'll get this guy in but this national unrest I'm not sure if that's going to help us or not but we do need to get f moving forward, so I'm going to speed up the time. Essentially, we, we can't declare war with anyone at the moment. So, um, because we are under this regency. I can't do that yet, because I can't go to war with anyone. I need to somehow raise the production of these. Of these provinces, somehow. for some reason. Not yet. We have a marriage proposal from England. Very nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Whatever. Can't deal with them yet. It's a very intricate game. We've got an alliance offer from Castille. Very good, I accept. Uh, how do I... Am I making money? Yeah, I am making money somehow, but... We've got another marriage proposal. This time from Castille. Something happened there that I can't, couldn't tell. Uh, that's none of our concern. Declare war against France. What happened there? Something happened there, didn't it? I couldn't see what it was. We also have these things up here. So this is manpower. This is sailors. Stability. Okay. I'd love to be able to get more money. I should be able to handle this. Uh, come on. A 
piace ok we have one active cardinal so what does that mean Trade efficiency, that will give us more money, I think. Four pound for a month. I'm not sure if that's all that relevant to us. Don't need the military now. Um, let's have a look at our trade again. See, I still don't understand how we we need to somehow get more trader traders. Yeah, we need to get more trade. There. But I don't like these. Uh, it's going to severe. I'm gonna try something because I don't know what this will do. So let's just see what this does. doesn't do anything for us. Oh, wait. But I can do as many as I, can, as I want? Is that how it works? Yeah. Hang on. Ah, oh, the royal. Okay, so that that didn't work because I thought it went. It did. Okay, it's been worth it. Maybe. No, it's not worth it there and there. Okay. Uh, let's try Bordeaux. And let's send the other guy back to Safi. Oh, a renowned minst minstrel, minstrel recently crossed our nation's borders. His intention is to roam our country, bringing joy to all who hear him. But some say your ears are fit to hear such musical wonders. Yeah. Um. Bring him to court. Okay. So, I think I understand how this works now. And it's not worth it, is it? No, so I'm gonna send this guy back to... Okay, so the, the efficiency is there as, we, as it was before. Nice. Okay, great, great, great. So we're doing the best trade we can. Um, your nephew, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, we are 
about to end the Regency on the 15th of... Alright, that means we have a new ruler with new skills. We also have an heir to the throne. And we still have a truce with Granada. Okay, we're going to join forces in a moment with Spain to win against Granada, but that might actually take too much time, but we'll see. Okay, so they are having internal conflict. So in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, just see. Inflation cost, stability cost, no, don't need that. Trade efficiency. I don't know how beneficial that is. I guess. I guess we'll try it. Um, became king for the first six years of his reign. He's ruled Jubilee. has no reason to complain for his most counsel duties. Just an, an efficient one. However, with the young king reaching majority, there are now many in the court who would try to influence the monarch. In the last attempt to mend relations, Duke has arrived with a number of retainers to seek the audience for them. So it's true. You know what? I'm gonna get trade efficiency and tax modifier. Cause why not? Oh, what happened there? Am I why am I losing money? Oh, what fighters maintenance? Okay. Army. I'm gonna boot him. Find the advisor. Okay. Why? Do, I don't understand why I lost money there. I thought I should have won money there, but obviously not. Um. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, Rain prices are very unstable. As a result, one of the such sentient there is currently a acute sh shortage of grain in many of our great cities, desperate to feed themselves as common people are directing their art. So, traders, and the natural resource shortages. going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive and I'm going to be in debt, but I'm going to pay for it. It's fine, I gotta learn. So I haven't done much in terms of ec 
activity outside the borders. Where is this, the state? Sunni zealots converts in Portugal. Okay. They're in Silta. Okay, the truce is gonna f is gonna end. We're gonna pause there. We can declare war now without penalties. So we're gonna we're going to move our troops and declare war. Diplomacy, declare war. We're going to call Spain to arms and and let's go. All right. I'm going to ask Spain to let us through as well. Um, I think I can actually get through because we're in a wall to get there. Oh, why can't I? send these guys here to start the attack these guys are ships so uh, that's fine we don't mind about that right let's do the first attack We took quite a few losses. Okay, so we were able to take that. Take that uh, province. Now I'm gonna collect some more. How do I make more troops? Oh no, here. Make more troops. I'm going to make more infantry. What are these? Merchants. Mercenaries, rather. Okay, I'm going to make here, 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 here. It's not going to take long. And it's basically done, isn't it? So I'm going to actually help these guys to go here. troops. That's great. Mission fulfilled. What was that? Which mission have I fulfilled? Ah, this one. Beyond the Cape. So I fulfilled that, which allows us to then move to that, colonize Africa. Great. So we're just sieging the whole thing. join these troops all in the era I 
see if I can make a company. You two as well, come on. And hopefully I should be able to attach. attached aren't they so I'm sure that's not how you do it but that's what I've done and I'm going to send them here just for reinforcements what's happening here appraisal boost stability do harsh treatment but we can now what are you guys doing here hmm. <laughs> yeah I don't want to do harsh treatment Hours we move all of our all of our units to I think because we have too many troops. It might be oh there we go. The other the other guys have moved as well. Okay, nice. So we're just waiting for that forge to be broken down. And that will be the end of the episode, I think. Just con conquering Granada. It's such a complex game. It's so... If you want to do... Um, if you want to do much... You kind of need to... Um, oh, yeah. It's fitting tunies as well. Um, you kind of need to... Ooh spend a lot of time to actually get anything done in this game so i'm not going to do that only like half an hour so we're going to finish soon a new concepts uh, use caution use caution So we're breaking everything down. Can I handle this again? I don't know what that notice was, but since we're starting the game soon, stopping the game soon, uh, it's probably not going to be relevant to us. Get the camera back up. So we have a revolt in Tunis. So that means we need to split up some of the troops. And we're going to send... Oh, actually, Spain are there. But we're going to send our army anyway. Let's send our army just to take care of the situation, you know. So. And we took care of it immediately. Okay, while well, the small army continues to chug away at that. OK. 
Okay. So we're now. We still have to defeat. We have to defeat Tunis. Um, Where's Tunis? These guys now. These guys, Tunis, yeah. Shall we invade Tunis? But we have to have to invade these guys as well, and these guys. What do you mean occupied by Spain? It's ours. Right, let's see if we can offer a peace treaty to these guys. So, I want this. Wait. Peace treaty. It's just a shame I can't see. There we go. So I can't have everything. I don't need that one to be fair. Uh, so just demands. I'll just carry on for a bit. I don't know. Like, if we gain more. Do we gain more? By staying there longer? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we need to stay there longer. And then we'll be able to gain more power, maybe. I don't know if that's how it works, but. Fulfilled. Oh, Central Africa. Oh, yeah, I could go that way. Okay, fine. So, what do I need to do to get down? Oh, it was these. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I completely missed that. these two Send them out and that's it. Okay, so we left them that. And somehow Spain maintained these. Uh, we've learned casualties of an exiled army in Granada. Let's send them back. To whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, so we just need to keep an eye on this because Spain took a lot of our. Breaking apart. And took a lot of our territory. 
but at least we expanded it a little bit. Um, can we send them back home? Anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to stop here now, but as you can see, it's a complex game. And because I'm playing on a very small screen as well, it's really hard to navigate. But yeah, if you've kind of liked the concept of Europa Universalis and you've played it before, or maybe you haven't played it before, but you're going to go ahead and play it, let me know in the comments what you think. It's an extremely complex game, and also because we started as Portugal, we had a few complications. If maybe I've gone with Asia or South America or Africa, we could have done a bit more warfare from the get-go. But yeah, complex game. Now, over to the next game. Thanks so much for watching this one, and uh, stay tuned. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you can see what's coming up tomorrow as well on the channel. Different game. Take care. Bye-bye.